So uh, July 14th is going to be really exciting. We have observations planned with our whole suite of instruments. Things really begin to heat up at about three hours before closest approach. As we're flying by, if my hand is Pluto, the, the spacecraft will fly by and it'll scan the LISA instrument across the surface of Pluto to build up a spectral image of what the surface looks like. Then as we get around uh, toward Pluto's terminator, we take our very long, high-resolution scans in black and white, which means that we can use the very wide-field MVIC and at the same time use the narrow field LORI. So we get 5,000 pixels across Pluto, about half a kilometer resolution at closest approach. At the same time, we have this very skinny inset of the LORI field of view at only about 100 meters per pixel. So we take our LORI images one after the other, these overlapping images. So what it looks like is this big plate of Pluto and the skinny little noodle of Lori running across the moon. At this point, we are, for the first time in humanity's history, behind Pluto, taking pictures back on the far side. The ALICE instrument will be doing a solar occultation, which is watching the sun set behind Pluto. The Deep Space Network will be transmitting a signal, and that signal will be picked up by the antenna, and it'll be changed by the atmosphere of Pluto that it has to go through. And that's how we probe Pluto's atmosphere, the pressure and temperature right near the surface. July 14th is the apex of what we've been working for. We launched more than nine years ago. And ever since then, we've been trying to shepherd the spacecraft safely across the solar system. As spacecraft goes, New Horizons is a very small team. But still, we've been working on this for over a decade. And you add it all up and it's about two and a half million work hours to get ourselves to Pluto. We can't wait to get to Pluto and to July 14th and see what the surface looks like. We're ready to go and it's showtime. <laughs>